peace activists from around the globe have designated 13th of January as a global day of action for Gaza. This call comes at the back of 12 weeks of Israeli attacks on Gaza. The Israeli attacks are generating destruction comparable in scale to the most devastating wars of the last century. Israel has dropped over 30,000 bombs, killing 300 people daily in Gaza. Nearly 70% of Gaza's homes have been completely or partially destroyed. This is equivalent to destroying cities like Boston, Helsinki, Rotterdam and Leeds. According to the United Nations, half of the population of Gaza is at risk of starvation. And the World Health Organization reports that Israel attacks and the siege are resulting in the spread of diseases that may ultimately kill more people than Israel's bombs. Further, Israel is continuing with its ongoing ethnic cleansing in the West Bank, the discrimination against Palestinians within Israel, and provocatively attacking targets in Syria and Lebanon. The unfolding genocide by Israel in Gaza has been made possible because of the unequivocal support of the USA and UK governments. The US and UK governments have even blocked a UN Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire. The last three months have shown the Nakba, the catastrophe has never been over and it is in its most acute manifestation of 1948 is returning much more aggressively. This is despite the slogans of never again, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, international law, Geneva Convention and UN Resolution. A global day of protest on 13th of January is necessary because the governments of the world and international institutes have failed to stop Israel. People's power has in the past helped stop the US war in Vietnam. People's power has helped end apartheid in South Africa despite being supported by the US and UK. The 13th of January global protest for Gaza as such is the realization that people power is needed today more than ever to end the genocide in Gaza. It is about ordinary people demanding that governments and institutes shift away from war and usher in a humane global order of equity and justice. For these reasons and more, we are already witnessing groups from Asia, Africa, Australia, across the Americas and Europe starting to mobilize for the 13th of January. I hope wherever you are in the world, you will also make efforts and join this global day of action for Gaza on 13th of January, calling for an immediate ceasefire and help stop the genocide in Gaza.